Drag Racing Fan, PDRA, East Coast Nationals footage next on Monday Morning Racing. <laughs>
going to piss it at least 378 miles an hour, so he goes a stop pass.
271 and 201 miles an hour. So
409, 176, he's 029 on the Christmas tree.
going to be Morton holding it down. Morton's 973 short, 266 in the middle, 405 at 176 for the win. Qualifiers and 
and we picked a way out of more during eliminations, and uh, we kept turning on wind lights. You know, to have Chip here uh, from Strutmasters.com, it's it's awesome to share a trophy with him. Um, you know, I'm only here today because of my dad, uh, my best friend, my hero. Uh, doesn't mean he knows more than me, by the way. Uh, but he taught me everything I know, and uh, hey, we did it together. Brud works his tail off. You know, three main crew this weekend, and and uh, we we got it done. I'm just I'm just uh, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm happy. Johnny, look, congratulations on your win. Look, you mentioned that Chip Hopkins been here in the uh, paddock all this weekend. He's on the line for each and every run. He's on the line for this winning run. I gotta ask, what does it mean to have a sponsor like Chip Hopkins on the line to stay at this time? You know, he, he loves drag racing. I, 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 every drag racing fan out there, man, you. You gotta support this company. Uh, whether it's just a like, or you're just tuning in, checking out their products. For somebody to, to invest in drag racing and, and, and show the support that he shows to multiple teams, you know, a lot of us can't do this and entertain you without people like him. And, and to have him here and uh, with us and, and celebrating, it's, it's priceless. Awesome. You stay right there. John, you get in here. Get right in here. Bring in John Pacino, Johnny's dad. Look, John, this yes, son's a winner. How's it feel? Listen, I told him everything. And he proved it right out of the gate. I goes red. Mark Freer goes double 06 and then blows the tires off of it. But we'll get the wind line. Awesome. It's good to see father and son out here winning, and also the banter is hilarious if you just hang around in the pits. <laughs> Look guys, good start to 2020, ultimate goal, what is it? Win the championship. Win the championship. And set records. And set records. Pacino Racing, strutmasters.com, here on Monday Morning Racer, they're getting it done. <laughs> That's Melanie Salemi. Melanie, look, Purple Rain rained over the competition today. Walk me through the rounds and getting this win. Oh man, I uh, first round, here's my best friend Kevin and got him on the tree. Um, I mean, we definitely did not have the fastest car here, but uh, I was good on my lights and when I had to uh, get the job done, I did it. And when my guys needed to work on their tune-up, they did it. So. It was, it was definitely a team effort this weekend, and it, it feels really good to be back in the winner's circle at PDRA because I didn't win one last year, and my three guys needed a new friend. Well, they got a new friend. Now, how satisfying is it that you were the fastest qualified pro mod that was not a pro-charged car? How satisfying is that that you represented all the, let's say, traditional ways of making power? Yeah, I mean, that was great. Um, Kurt Stenning made some really awesome runs also. Uh, I think he went a 69 today, so he was definitely a little bit quicker than we were. We were having some issues with tune-up stuff, but, um, I mean, the fastest car doesn't always win, so. It, it was it was nice to know that we, we had a car that was able to win a race, um, but 
it, it was a little bit of a struggle along the way, so it wasn't like our perfect race weekend. It ended perfectly, though. Ended perfectly. Hey, winning's the main thing. Doesn't matter how you win, because it's winning. All right, looking forward, you're going to be leading the points going into Darlington. Being in the southeast, do you look at Darlington and say, man, we got another great shot because the weather probably is going to be similar, is it a similar track, or does it pre present completely different challenges? I mean, I've won at Darlington before, and I know that these guys have a super plan that they're going to be tearing everything apart and trying something different just to see what we can do. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't think we can really go much faster uh, and maybe the coach runs the cars.